A guy pointed out how disappointed he was with Fire Force. The first episodes made it seem like it's going to be a semi-serious action adventure against horrifying monsters that prey on humanity. A few episodes later it became heavy on fan service and the monsters lost their importance in favor of cartoon evil organizations of humans. What did you expect? The replies he got all had to do with lowering your expectations to the point you accept something as it is. It's shonen, so of course it's going to be full of fan service. That's how the manga was like, so why would the anime be any different? The monsters were never meant to be the main bad guys, and it's more interesting if it's cartoony evil organizations. It's not the show's fault, it's your fault for having the wrong expectations. What did you expect? It's a ridiculous type of defense nobody should be supporting. The show did have a completely different vibe when it began. The expectations it gave to the anime onlys were not head cannons. They were promised by the show itself. When the show betrays its own premises by becoming a lot less than what it seemed to be at first, it's not the viewer's fault. What did you expect? Accepting something as it is means that you like it no matter how bad or good it is. The actual quality does not matter if you're going to like it no matter what happens. If you're willing to accept a show as it is, then you're never bothered by contradictions, plot holes, fillers and the like. You become a blinded fanboy who will support something regardless of what it is. What did you expect? When people are disappointed with series such as Sword Art Online, Shield Hero and Log Horizon, is it really their fault for not accepting them as crappy isekai, even though the early episodes promised them a lot more? Is it their fault when they listen to the hype of the fanboys and they come into their fandom by being promised greatness and get something completely unremarkable? Why would they settle for a lot less than what they came for? Is it their fault for not reading the source material first so they wouldn't be fooled by what comes next? What did you expect? Let's be honest here, okay? Many shows start in a completely different way so they can attract a lot of people with good first impressions before turning into the mediocrities they were always meant to be. They just assume that once the viewer is hooked, he will keep watching no matter what they turned into, since you should accept the show as it is. It's a low tier trick to fool the critically bankrupt people. Do not be stupid and don't fall for it.